okay we're gonna need these two leaves uh, I, I took it from the rose and and also we're gonna use another um, item this ribbons um, also we need some garden tape yes and some uh, garden wire also that in a spread check um, that uh, uh, scissor mini uh, staple stapler sometimes I use this yeah and also the glue gun if I do a lot of stuff I use glue gun so that's all I are gonna use and for our um, main uh, items or products that we'll use is this uh, small flowers I just buy the whole uh, bunch but we're gonna use only one just like this one a bigger flower only one and then the small one is two uh, flowers also some uh, something to put in uh, this uh, this one is also one uh, one bouquet but we're just gonna use some and usually I keep it I keep the rest of it and this one if you want but I don't think we're gonna use this one uh, we're gonna use simple corsage only so I don't think I just show you that so you have idea now we're gonna start it and this two leaves we're gonna join together so we could uh, use that for our flowers so since it's only one it's easy to make and use uh, their mini um, staple or you can use a glue if you want but for this project it's only one so we're gonna use our mini staple so we're just gonna do that to attach the two uh, leaves like that then I gotta get uh, uh, this bigger flower in the middle of it yeah so we're, we're supposed to attach them together so usually I use uh, uh, the garden tape that we have so we could really attach them together you know or a glue gun you just put a glue gun on the back of that flower from uh, then the, the leaves but we're gonna use just the garden, uh, garden tape like that take some of it and then just uh, tip it up around until you think it's okay and we're not gonna lose the, the flower from the leaves okay, like that so then you you know when, when you're satisfied you can cut it so that's it well usually for the man you just use a leaf and that and that's all and then you're just gonna have a good uh, stem stem for the um, for your flower and it, it's called usually a button yeah you see you don't have you don't need anything on it but just like that it's so simple for men but for women which is corsage then you're gonna need more of it and usually me I like to put a lot of stuff but so this small flower you can um, put that on the side of that bigger flower but with this one now uh, we're gonna gonna separate them because it's not so good if you're not gonna do that sometimes you want to save your time but it doesn't look so then you're gonna have to do what you have to do so like that so because the other flower is small we're gonna use the um, garden wire so that other uh, small flower will have a, a good stem because you cannot just put a a short one on on the on the on the corsage so you, you will have to extend the stem using your garden wire like that see so and then once you're done then you can arrange again this two small flower with the big bigger flower like that yeah. and then of course you gotta use your um, garden tape to attach them together 
Yeah, each time that you're gonna put anything on it, you have to use a garden tape, of course. So, like that. So you do it again. Uh, that uh, garden tape, and just turn it around. Yeah. So, so you 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 have, and you just of course arrange your flowers and your leaves. Sometimes it goes to a different direction and I don't like it so I keep moving it move it from the proper uh, position on the back of that leaves see I always do that then what you're gonna do is add some more um, things on that flower but usually sometimes I use my own uh, my own uh, thing like I, I make a beaded um, a beaded stem or a uh, pearl spray but this one like this I just put this yellow little leaves on the front and the other one I'm just gonna cut it again because you cannot put that if you're not gonna separate them so I used to put that at the back of those flowers this one this uh, with the little leaves on it and the other one on the other side so that will be look more uh, nicer than just a simple one but actually I have more um, corsage that I made it's more um, uh, I put more than this one but we are just doing a simple one so again you're gonna use the attach all together and use that uh, garden tape so they will be uh, um, touch well and usually once I, I tape them I kept you know arranging them like that you know even if it's already taped but it's happened all the time to me when I'm making things you know like that so there it is so yeah So it's just simple uh, corsage that we're making today. So you have idea and if you need to do more of that then it's also good. See it's already done with all those tape on the stem. It's actually it's okay like that for to use you know but without anything at all if you want but me I always put something on it like this ribbon I'm gonna wrap around on the stem so they will be look better but for green it also look better because of the leaves but it depends on how you going to put that garden tape and it's gonna look better to um, you know without this ribbon if you if you wish to do that it's all right so you just um, Turn it around and then you just gonna I use glue gun because it's better than anything else um, you know especially when I make a lot of it so um, you just attach that and close the end of it with the glue gun with the glue so now with, with this one as I said it will be okay without putting any bow ribbon or whatever it's already okay but uh, we'll make some bow ribbon on this one okay see it's okay like that and usually if you pay for that it's quite expensive here you know one normal one's like three dollars but that's a long time ago I mean especially now that we haven't played it, it probably more costs more so um, and even before uh, I used to make a lot of it but not anymore so maybe it costs more for them to pay extra so anyway that's um, sometimes we need to have that and it's really good to uh, to make our own uh, corsages because the one that we buy is so expensive right so that and you just put this ribbon on the on the front if you want but if not it's also okay it looks bad it looks good anyway can you see that right but me I always put the ribbon a ribbon on the front you know and the flower looks like yellowish so we put yellow uh, 
ribbon on that on that too and um, again I use glue gun for this for this one and sometimes I sew it but it's quicker if you use the glue gun it's just because glue gun you need electric you know you have to plug it plug it in the electric so it takes time to do it so then so this is how it looks like if you put this ribbon on it and it's almost almost uh, done our um, simple corsage it's quite hard to do this bow all the time is I'm not having um, it's not that simple it looks simple but it's hard to make it uh, go in the right position it's kind of stubborn <laughs> Put like that. Mm, and make some uh, yeah, like that. You put the glue on it, so it will be more secure than anything and you know glue is better. Yeah. See? So that's how uh, our um, corsage uh, looks like and I hope that you can do that also if you need it sometimes we need it and we just have to buy but um, if you know how to do it then you don't have to buy right and only the problem is that sometimes you cannot buy one piece or two pieces that's the problem this will I have to buy a bouquet of flowers a bouquet of leaves and and things so anyway I can keep it and I can use it some other time right so this is our simple corsage I hope that you can try to learn uh, do it also and it's so simple that what we do today so thank you for watching